these are the adidas business pros and today i'm going to be doing 100k flips in them this is going to be my first time skating adidas and i've heard a lot of things about them some were good some were bad but before i actually skate them let's take a look at the shoe so they do have a decent amount of colorways for this shoe i went with the brown sole with the black top it really does seem like this shoe has a lot of stitching specifically on the toe side and then it simplifies near the heel side still have yet to put these on but if i drag my thumb on the bottom of the shoe they feel kind of grippy and if i give it a little bend they flex a little and if i press on the toes like this it feels really flimsy but if i do the same thing on the heel side it feels really thick and solid and if i take the insole out it looks and feels really thin so we'll see how it does down drops and stairs it also has a really unique tongue so it's really thick up here and it's really flimsy and thin up here it also does give you the option to cut the flimsy part off so i might end up doing that later you do get an extra pair of shoelaces they are white so here's what they look like with white laces i don't know what do you guys think black or white or should i just keep it like this yeah i think i'm just gonna keep it like this these were the shoes that I wore prior they're the new balance numeric 440s and i made a review on them if you want to check it out the link will be in the description all right so they actually do they actually do feel really good they're kind of stiff right now but i feel like they'll loosen up over time all right so before i get into the 100k flips let's actually do a couple basic tricks just to warm up That was the first try kickflip, by the way. And it seems like the tongues naturally want to drift off to the side of the shoe, probably because they're so long. But yeah, they don't feel like they're going to take too long to break in. And even though I only did one flip trick, which was a kickflip, the board feel is a lot like what I expected it to be. Basically, there is a lot of board feel. And I kind of do like the fact that you can like bend and crease them without actually creasing them. This is a suede material, so I get why it does that. And the insoles feel really heavy on the heel, but really light on the toe. I feel like that's something to really keep in mind if you're going to be skating a lot of drops and stairs. And I feel like I've done enough talking, so now let's get into 100k flips. And a couple days ago, my GoPro broke off my helmet, so I'm not going to be using it for today's video. So these are the shoes after 10 cake flips. Don't look too different from when I first started. I just doing my warm up tricks. So, so let's do 10 more. And the cake flips are feeling really good. The shoes are feeling really comfortable. Not really having too many problems adjusting to them. But let's just keep it up and do the next 10. I'm just now realizing they have this huge drop over here. Like imagine I did a cake flip off of this. Like it's so tall. you guys are probably like seeing these stairs and you're like cake flip off the stairs but i'm not going to do that right now i just want to make it the very last cake flip so just stick to the end of the video so here's what it looks like after 20 cake flips we just see a little bit more scuffing around the same areas as 10 cake flips ago not too much of a difference overall i remember making these 100 cake flip videos like a year ago and my cake flips would just be trash like i would be tic tacking all over the place but now they feel a lot cleaner and i'm not tic tacking everywhere and yeah i am catching them a lot better now so that just goes to show you if you want to skateboard and you want to learn new tricks just stick to the process and it might be slow at first but over time you'll get better all right so now we're gonna do 10 kit flips up and down this curb kick flips in is what they look like not too much of a difference or actually you are starting to see the pattern disappear on this part of the shoe as you can see there's kind of like triangles over here but they fade as you get to this part of the toe 
So, so you are starting to see a little bit more damage coming in. And we've only done 30 cake flips, so let's see how they look after 40. And actually, instead of doing 10 regular cake flips, let's do 10 backside flips. And by the way, I am at a college. This is Coppin State University for anyone in Maryland. Yeah, you could definitely get a couple clips over here for a street clip. So I just hit like this part of my leg and I'm wearing the FP insole socks. The shin guards only protect this part of your shins. So like anything over here, if you like get hit, you're gonna get messed up. So, so yeah, that's just one thing you wanna keep in mind if you wanna get the FP insole socks. They are new to me, so I'm still filling them out. But if you want more details on them, let me know if you want a whole video on it. Literally all those backside flips were just so sketchy. Usually they feel a lot better when I go fast. I was only going fast for like the last five, but they do feel really weird on this chalky ground. It's not really chalky, it's just chunky. It's kind of hard to pivot. Got those done, so now let's take a look at the shoes. You do have to take in consideration that I'm only counting the ones that I'm landing. I am flicking a little bit more than what you're seeing, but still this is what 40 kick flips looks like. Not too bad, but we still have a long way to go. Now let's go the other way and do 10 front side flips. Those front side flips were a lot better, and I'm usually a lot better at front side flips than back side flips anyway, so it's kind of weird. But yeah, here's the shoes. Got a little bit of scraping over here. Some of the stitching is getting a little loose over here, and it kind of looks about the same on the toes. So yeah, that's about it for right now. All right, so now I'm gonna go all the way from up here to down there and do 10 more kick flips. Let's see if I can get them all in a row. Imagine I got up to like nine and then just failed on the last one. But yeah, that was first try. So that was 14 kick flips or I think 15. I'm only gonna count 10 for the purpose of this video. It doesn't even feel like I'm breaking them in anymore. They feel like normal skate shoes now. Hopefully like over time, the durability doesn't go away like super fast just because of that. If they only take a short period of time to break in. A lot of times the durability goes away like super fast. So hopefully that's not the case with these shoes. As I said, that line was first try. So it didn't really do too much damage. And again, this is my first time skating Adidas and I feel like they, they kind of feel like if Vans and maybe Pumas, they made a shoe. That's basically what the Adidas Business Pros feel like. So now I'm going to do a kickflip over this and then a kickflip over that. And then after that, it should be around like 70 kickflips. So let's get into it. does seem like the tip of the toe is rubbing off a lot more now. There's little triangles over here, but they're fading away over here where I'm flicking. It does look like they are giving in a little bit more, but we definitely don't see any holes or anything like that. And actually let's do 10 tray flips instead of kick flips this time.
literally none of those were clean like i felt like i tic tac on all of them and then i even tried to get a double tray flip or a tray flip double flip and that didn't even work out usually i don't have to practice those a lot to get one but i just could not get one right now so i do feel like the laces are ripping just a little bit more and there is just a little bit more damage coming in over here too so other than that the stitching is coming off just a little bit more over here and then here's the hillside so yeah i got like 20 more k flips to do let's do 10 and then 10 and then i'll give you guys my overall thoughts all right so now i'm gonna do a no stall to body burial to kick flip out I did forget to show you guys the shoes after the last 10 kick flips, but here they are. The stitching is looking a bit fuzzy over here. We already knew the stitching was coming off a little bit over here too. We are seeing a little bit more scuffing on the Adidas logo. Near the toe, it is trimming a little bit more. But yeah, that's it for right now. It looks like the sun has gone and it might start raining soon. So I gotta hurry up on these last 10 kick flips. So I did say I was gonna kickflip these at the end of the video. So here it is, the very last kickflip. Dude, that kickflip was second try. I really wanted it to be first try, but I'll take it for right now. The stairs are actually super steep, so they aren't like super long and fat. So it really made it a lot easier just to commit um, just like that. And even though I landed it clean, I just want to do it one more time. So let's just run that back one more time. So that actually felt really good. Now, let me give you guys my final thoughts on the shoes. Right, so here we go. The final product of what these shoes look like. We see a lot of damage on the toe side of the shoe. I thought it was gonna rip a lot over here where the laces are, but they tended to be a lot stronger than I thought they were gonna be. But it did tear a lot over here. This side of the shoe looks a lot fuzzier than when I first started doing the kickflips. I haven't done any switch flips, so this is what they're supposed to look like. And then, this is what they actually look like. And then there's some shredding on the Adidas logo too. I've only skated them for one session, so you don't really see too many signs of wear on the bottom of the shoe. But I am starting to notice that the shoelaces are starting to rip a little. I guess this happened like near the last 10 kick flips, so that's pretty new. But just in terms of how they felt, they felt really good. They didn't really take too long to break in. You get a lot of board feel. And when I was skating the stairs, they did do pretty well off drops, even though the insoles are this thin. I usually like the Vans Ultra Crush insoles just because they feel like super thick and bouncy but I feel like these insoles for these type of shoes they feel really good and they might just do the job over time but compared to a lot of the other shoes that I've done 100k flips in these actually didn't do too well I feel like there should have been a lot less tearing happening on the toe side of the shoe maybe it was just the tricks I was doing I was doing a little bit more than kick flips I did do a couple tray flips backside flips and frontside flips so that might have had an impact on why they shredded so 
much but at the same time these are my very first session skating these so i don't know but i will say the tongue does really make the shoe a little bit more comfortable just because it is pretty thick on this side of the tongue i might rip and tear uh this part off just because it is pretty flimsy and i feel like it just makes the tongue long for no reason but it does add to the style and that is one thing i did want to mention um, near the end of the video is that i really do like the style for my first time skating adidas i'm glad i got this pair with this colorway i feel like most adidas shoes look the same but these specific colors and for them to be skate shoes i do think they are pretty cool and i don't think there's a the type of skate shoes you need to walk around in before you skate them just because they really didn't take too long to break in i would recommend them to skaters that do a lot of kickflips, do a lot of flat ground tricks. And for my first session, they did do pretty well when I was trying to skate the stairs. So yeah, overall they did pretty well. I am gonna make an updated review probably in about a month, just so you guys can see how they lasted over time and just so that I can skate more obstacles so that I can get a feel for what they do skate well with and what they don't. As always, if you have any questions for me, definitely leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you guys later. I'm out.